Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Approximately one o'clock in Honolulu, seven o'clock in New York. It is Thursday, 29th day of July, 2021. And this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. Statements along with Chairman Powell's press conference yesterday sent ripples through the financial market. It did take the dollar substantially lower, now down for the fourth day in a row, and a tremendous spike in both gold and silver. In fact, silver moved up almost 2.5%, over a percent higher in gold. And as of current market action, we are in Australia with the December futures contract trading above its 50-day moving average. A close above that would certainly signal a continuation of the rally and be extremely bullish. We'll talk about that during the chart section in the show, which begins now. Extremely strong move for gold today. We'll look at three different contracts. First, we are looking at the December contract. That is the most active contract, trading up $27.80. That's a gain of 1.54%, currently fixed at $1,832.40. In terms of the high today, that was quite interesting because that came in at $1,837.50. We'll talk about that in a second because it corresponds to a potential resistance area with the low of $1,810.90. When we look at Forex or spot gold, that is at 1827.70 after factoring in today's gain of $21.20. And then there is the August contract, which is basically spot at 1827.80, up $28.10. As we await the open of trading in Australia, that will occur in about two minutes. I draw your attention to this chart that we put up a couple of days ago in which I talked about a compression triangle. The key to this chart was simply looking at recent highs and drawing an upper level resistance. We noted that we had a series of lower highs. We also had a series of higher lows. And we put this chart up right before the FOMC meeting. And one of the comments that I made was that we are quickly approaching the apex and we will look to see some sort of a break above or below. Now, Australia has just opened up and you can see that I was looking at potential resistance to come in at the 50-day moving average. That's this green line here. It is hard to see, but I'll go ahead and blow this chart up. The open itself in Australia is coming in at 1832.80. That is this small candle here. And that represents a higher close than we saw in New York. And it construes that what was a potential for resistance, meaning the 50 day and 200 day moving average, if we get an effective close overseas tonight, above these two price points will then become our next level of support. And traders, that is exciting. And we will have to see exactly how this market trades. As you can see, I have added the 23.6% FIB retracement level. This particular data set that we are using begins at the lows of March at 1675, up to these highs that come in at around 1920. Effectively, we had a strong, strong retracement as this market came up, tested these highs, and then actually went past the 61.8% retracement before moving back into rally mode, which is what we have. Now, it is too early to tell because we want to see how the range develops as it trades in Australia. But if we get an effective close above the 50-day moving average, which is currently fixed at 1832, our next target is going to be 1861. And we'll look to see how that corresponds to the December contract. And traders, we're looking at a short-term 240-minute chart of December gold futures. What I've done is I've looked at some recent tops that we have had, and the highest high that we can ascertain comes in roughly at 1839. We came close to that price point today with a high of 1837. What we need to see effectively close above $1,840. Traders, maintain your current long position in December gold, your current stop, 
The only caution that I have right now is to see how trading reacts at this critical price point, $1,840. Also, the 50-day and 200-day moving averages. And those are the price points we really need to see taken out if these levels are to become support as opposed to resistance. If they do, our price target becomes approximately $1,865. And that is basis the most active December contract. The last chart that I do want to look at in gold is for the August contract, which in essence is spot. It is trading in Australia right now. And what impresses me the most is at least for now, it is currently trading above its 50-day moving average because I believe that that could be a potential level of resistance. Now, it needs to hold this and close above it. I would like to see an effective close above 1835.10. Silver also had a tremendous gain, almost 3%, 2.85%, $25.58 cents after factoring in today's gain of just about 71 cents. An extremely strong move in silver. However, there is one key difference. If we look at where silver closed in New York and found resistance, that was definitely at the 200-day moving average, 2591.6. We opened in Australia below the close in New York, whereas in gold, we are effectively trading above New York's close, and that is something that is noteworthy. While we had a much greater jump in silver, up almost 2.5%, we're not seeing the kind of follow-through, and I absolutely believe we could see some minor resistance at $25.91 based upon the 200-day moving average. Above that is 26.28, the 61.8% Fib retracement, which is very closely aligned to the 100-day moving average. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update review, our weekend review. Have a great day. Bye-bye.